Hey guys, it's Aeros, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the quickest and easiest way that you guys can up your FPS as well as get the best in-game graphics for Dead by Daylight. All the files and links you guys are going to need are in the description down below as well as in my Discord. Make sure you guys stick to the end of this video so then you guys can figure out how to maximize your performance in Dead by Daylight. There are going to be timestamps throughout the video in the description so you guys can jump to whatever part you want, whether it be reshade, graphic config folder, or in-game user settings. Without out of the way, let's jump to the first thing. So for the first part of this video, we are going to be going over reshade. You guys can just go to this link right here, which will be in the description or in my Discord. Hit the download button. It will bring you right here. Download reshade 5.52. Once that is all downloaded, you guys can open it up and you will see two Dead by Daylight files here. Make sure not to click the easy anti-cheat launcher when doing this. You should click the other one, whether you're Epic Games, Windows, or Steam. It should say Win64-Shipping with whatever you want. So for this example, we're going to be launching this. DVD runs on DirectX, so make sure to click this. So for now, we are going to skip the preset, but we will put a preset in after this. So for my preset, all you guys need is the Sweet Effects as well as the Color Effects Prod 8. Make sure to double click so then it shows checked. Click Next. And there you guys go, as simple as that. Now, launch that by the light. So if you guys have installed it correctly, you will see Reshade is now installed successfully. Press home. For me, I have a 60% keyboard, so I have to do the function key and then home. But if you guys have a full set keyboard, it should be there. You guys can skip the tutorial. Once this screen pops up, you guys can go to the Google Drive in the description down below to download my preset. Once here, you guys can download DVD files. As you can see, I just downloaded the zip file. Okay, once you guys are here, you can extract here. Once you guys have extracted your DVD files, you can click here, the reshade config. From here, you're gonna wanna tap back into the game. Once you have the reshade config downloaded, you can go home again, click on this little preset area, click on this text, and then Control A, Control C, tap back into your file explorer, paste the directory. And once you guys have this here, you're gonna wanna right click on your file explorer again, open up another side, go to where you've downloaded the DVD files. So now you guys should have two file explorers open. Just drag and drop my config folder into there. Now once back in Dead by Daylight, you should see ARAL's config here. Select, performance mode, and there you guys have it. You should have my ARAL's config for reshade. Okay, so now that you guys have the reshade successfully installed, you guys can now go to percent, app data, percent, click here. Now you guys are gonna be on roaming, so you'll wanna go back to app data, local. Scroll down until you guys see dead by daylight, saved, config, windows no editor, and you should see two files here, and there's only two that we are gonna be using today. This is the engine file, as well as the game user settings file. So these two files here will change the appearance of your game as well as you can uncap your FPS, which I will be showing you. So first things first, we are going to be swapping the engine file. I have the file in the Google Drive as well as the Discord down below in the description. Once you have the zip downloaded, you will see engine file, reshade, user settings. For this example, we're using engine file. All you guys have to do is open up the engine file, drag and drop, replace file and destination. And boom, it's that easy. Once you have drag and dropped your engine file, make sure to right click, properties, read only, and apply. Okay, once that's done, you can go over to game user settings. Now for this, this is all personal preference. So for starters resolution quality, make sure this is always at 100. Now for view distance, I put it at four because four is above max. The lowest you can go is zero. The highest you can go is four. It presets these to three, I believe at high settings. However, you can exceed it. Shadow quality, always on four. Post-processing, I have at zero. Texture quality at four. Anything below two looks very bad, so I usually keep it up just so it looks good in streams and videos. Effects quality, zero. Foliage, zero. Shading, zero. And animation, four. Anything below this makes animations look very weird and buggy. So for the graphics, four is the highest and zero is the lowest. I recommend staying between either two to four if your PC can handle it. But if you guys have a low end PC, make sure to stay between two and three. I think that's safe. For foliage, you always want to keep this at zero because of the cold wind maps. So next, we are going to uncap our FPS. So by default, Dead by Daylight has VSync enabled. So all you guys want to do is go to the edit area here, click on find and type VSync. Once there, you guys will see it highlighted here. Make sure this says false. Now, Dead by Daylight does have a hard cap at 120 FPS. So if you guys want to get the maximum performance for your game, make sure you go to FPS limit 
here and put 120. If you have a low-end PC, I'd say keep it around 175, depending on what you can actually get in game. If you scroll down, you guys should see frame rate limit again. Make sure this is 120. After that, click File, Save, back out of here. Once done here, you guys can right-click, Properties, make sure this is read only, apply, and then click OK. If you guys would like to use my user settings, you're more than welcome to. All you have to do is the exact same thing for the engine file, which is just go to where you downloaded it in the Google Drive down below or the Discord. Click, drag, drop, place, and it's that easy. That's it, short and sweet. That's how you get the best FPS inside of Dead by Daylight. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like me to make other tutorials, such as movement tutorials, tech tutorials, let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully you have a great rest of your day. Much love, and goodbye.